last week, JT said she would like another house tour video uh, where we pretend that we're, I guess, either sneaking through the house or at some time of the sleepover and we're not trying to wake up the rest of the house, but we do want to look at other people's houses. So I went looking and this is one of the first houses that I actually saw it's a houseboat so this is not a shed it's not a holiday home it's an actual house i don't know how common houseboats are in your neck of the woods but we got quite a few and this one um kind of drew my attention first of all the garden is very open plan as you can see we're looking at the garden right now They've got this arch here with a couple of trees. One of them looks like it has red leaves. It might be some type of cherry. I don't know. And the other one, I don't know what that is. It just kind of wraps around. It almost looks like, uh, oh, actually, I think that red tree is behind the pole. These are both twirly things. Maybe it kind of reminds me of uh, grapes, grapevines. I don't know what they are, but in any case, this picture looks like it was taken either in spring or both of these are just dead and they're never going to come back, but whatever. So, this is the garden. You can learn quite a lot about people just looking at the garden. For instance, I see here what it looks like the uh, hatch of some type of car just randomly sitting next to their shed. I don't think there's a full car here. Maybe we'll see like a parking spot there on the next picture, but I don't think so. It's sitting right next to this metal seat. I think this is a barbecue. I don't know actually, but this over here is the actual house. Oh, you can't see my cursor. Uh, can I fix that? There, there's my cursor. This is the actual house right here. I think this might be theirs. It could also be the neighbor's. I don't know. But here's the corridor I was talking about. This looks like the back hatch. With like a light over here. We're going to click on to the next picture. Pretty soon. But first, this looks like one of those Chinese good luck things. I don't know what they're called. Well, let's go for the next picture. So this is from the street view. Although this looks like a bicycle lane, so I guess they can't come here with cars anyway. So, number 10. Although I don't know if this is theirs or the neighbors. I don't know what this flag is. I've never seen this before. No clue. But, um, even though this is public property, the owners felt it necessary to put a random collection of pots and things on the path in people's way. So that also kind of tells you a little bit, a thing or two about the people who live here. I think they think that's acceptable. So this is the neighborhood from the outside. You can't see much because the garden fences are taller than the houseboats themselves. So anyway, so this is again the front of the property. This looks like a electricity shack pots and plants. They have so many little pots all over the place. So they don't seem to take very good care of them, though. There's a bunch of them here, too. Somebody who likes plants, but doesn't like taking care of them, I think lives here. Hedge included. This doesn't look too good. This hedge has been able to fend for itself for many years, but over here in the corner it's looking a little bit shabby. Anyway. So this is the garden from the other side. Gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna have to look up what this flag is. And I don't know if we're gonna get close here, but this is starting to look more and more like a barbecue. I do like how this garden plot looks like it's been raised. See that? I don't know why you would do that, but apparently they did. Uh, we can see a nice messy bed of plants and flowers here. It doesn't look like they've been doing any weeding. It was a windy day, you see. I think they're planning still for us now hanging over here at an angle. This is the shed, by the way. A tiny little shed. At first, I wasn't sure what I was looking at, and I thought maybe this was part of the house 
or something like a holiday home, but nope, that is actually just the shed. They're not going to show us the, uh, oh look, now you can see that's a barbecue. Oddly shaped, but it is a barbecue. This area has not been maintained. Maybe the people that lived here haven't lived here in a while. Here you got a random cat statue. And it looks like a stone heart. So I wonder what this place looked like when it was still being properly cared for. This looks like this is the neighbor's property over here and another one over there. So the waters are right behind here. So you're really on the water. Paint job looks like it needs to be redone. Windows don't look very good either, but that could just be a reflection over here. I don't know what this is. But yeah, if the garden is any indication. Uh, either they just don't care about their garden or this place has been abandoned for quite some time. There's something here under the roof. Can't really zoom in on that, but it looks like foam or something coming out there. It's not good. Okay, we can see it better now. This also doesn't look great. There's a random piece of plastic here. Oh, there's a boat underneath there, okay. Now this area doesn't look very good either. But this could be excused because it's difficult to reach. There's water right here, so you wouldn't be able to get here very uh, easily. I don't know how far this thing reaches out into the water. Otherwise, maybe you could say, um, rent a, uh, one of those pressure, uh, hose things. Sprayers, I don't know what they're called. And just kind of hose it down a bit. Those work really well. Although, depending on what type of material this is, it might just disintegrate. Or it could be wonderfully clean. I don't know. Either way, we're getting a better look at the paint job. And that is definitely in need of a new layer of paint. And the doors as well. So, that's that. Now we got a random angel statue here. And we got a frog. And I don't know what that is. This looks more like a, a pretty interesting looking rock that they found on some holiday. And then they decided to just put it in the yard. Because that's what everything else, uh, where everything else goes. Some type of hose system here. I wonder how you get to the door. There doesn't appear to be a clear path here. Uh, different angle. They're not showing us the corridor. The corridor is right behind us on this side. You notice how they're not showing us that. Yeah, this is the path here. This is supposed to lead there. Maybe you were supposed to go that way. I don't know. But um, if I were the real estate agent, I would have probably have asked somebody to uh, clear up this mess first before taking a picture of the garden. I mean, I like the stonework. The stonework looks nice. But look at this mess. This really looks like an abandoned property. I would think twice. Before I go and take a look, it's interesting. Well, actually, I wouldn't go look anyway because I don't want a houseboat. So, another angle. This one's not much better. We see another frog here, but uh, I don't know why they included this shot. Maybe they should have included a couple others. Okay, this is more informative. We can see that there's quite a gap here between the door and the way to get in. At least I think this is the main entrance. Although, this looks more like a garden door. Where's the front door? Is it over here? I don't know. This seems dangerous. I mean, there are houseboats, so they're supposed to be on the water, but most houseboats are only really like boats in name. They don't actually sail anywhere. They're pretty much attached to the dock, and they're just floating in the water. That's why they're calling it a boat, but other than that, there's nothing boat-like about it. I guess this might be the front door. There's like a whole bunch of plastic here. To prevent you from falling into the water, maybe. But it's... This thing. Oh wait, there's a mat over here. I think the entrance might be over here somewhere. Although I don't see a door right here. Just here's a door. But the mat's a couple of feet that way. Uh, anyway, weird. Now we're magically teleported inside. I do like this pot over here. Like, uh, it has that, uh, traditional blue white on it. And I think that they had somebody come in who was going to make the place look better because this is a huge contrast with the way it looks on the outside. Now, I imagine that this is somebody that the people 
will ever know, or maybe this person lives here themselves, but like this type of setup, the perfectly papered walls, the really nice looking floor, the modern table with the modern chairs, and then suddenly just a randomly popped up a vague picture of flowers. That's like something that an interior decorator would do. I wonder if we're gonna find like a Buddha statue somewhere. There should be like a, a starter pack for houses that have been remodeled by interior decorators and one thing is random pictures. So we see that here. Uh, new wallpaper, new floor, obviously good, but not common because that costs a lot of money. But another thing that you'll see is Buddha statues and a guitar and uh, lots and lots of wooden things like these bowls with wooden balls in them. Let's see if we can find anything. There's something on this chair. I wonder what that is. Other side. Recently antique looking cabinet over here. I guess they were going for the worn look. But this is the uh, distressed look. Not the worn like with age look. More like it's new. But we had to rub something up against it. Up and down to make it look old or something. Although this chair does look like it's been beat up a little bit. I think it's different for the others. It has a different handle in the back, see? Random stones in here as well. And lots of plants. They love their plants. Oh, look, it's Easter. How old is... I mean, this house is uh, sold. I've seen that it's sold. But why do we have Easter chocolate here? It's nowhere near Easter. Also, they got a nice bottle of liquor back here. What's all this medicine in the cabinet? Oh dear, somebody's sick. There's something going on here. Anyway, so we see a uh, stove on what looks like an unsecured mobile platform. That seems like a problem waiting to happen, particularly if you have like wave motion. I don't know if this thing moves, but uh, wouldn't want to have this thing lit and super hot. And then suddenly there's like a rise in the ocean level because some speedboat comes by and then this thing starts moving all around your living room and encounters your couch full of covers and whatever you put on there. It's probably not a good idea. Somebody likes horse riding, but that doesn't mean that the people that live here have anything to do with horses. Might be, but we'll have to wait and see if we can find more evidence. So this area looks out onto the garden that we were just looking at before. From the inside, it looks a lot better, gotta say. Other side of the kitchen. Got some angel statues here. Something, some fairy stuff. This looks, maybe this is a unicorn as well. This looks like the fantasy resin statues that you see in a lot of places, like markets and stuff. Random camp picture. Yeah, some statue. Don't know what that is. Oh, we got the washer up here. Nice and conveniently placed at eye level, except if you want to put like soap in there, that might be a little difficult. There is like a little step up here, but we would still be uh, careful to not pour it into your own eyes. And you have to know exactly which area that you need to put the soap in, because this is like one of those little drawers that you pull out. And then there's like one section for the actual laundry detergent, and one section for the laundry softener, so you don't want to mix the two. Okay, so we get another look at the living room. Lots and lots of plants. These people are obsessed with plants. I hope they take better care of the ones on the inside. Oh, this is one of those fake bamboo things. They were really popular a couple of years ago. Kind of funny. That looks like a, a problem in the ceiling, but I'm not sure. Looks a bit like a crack. Could be something else. I don't know. I'm not really sure what that is. I would definitely look at that in real life as well to see what that is. Because obviously the pictures always look a lot better than we are actually there. So if you ever go look for a house, make sure to keep an eye on that. So this is one of those things that I would think an interior decorator would put. And look who's here. There's the Buddha. So that's number two or three on our bingo list. But yeah, this is one of those bowls. Although these are like uh, cactus plants, I think, and not random pieces of wood. But we might see some of that later because they really like plants. Or maybe the interior decorator left the wood behind. 
mind because they already have enough wood of their own. This couch is usually flammable, so that's great. Uh, let's see. There is the Buddha, like I said. Here's one of those zen flower things. You can put a candle in, so this looks like the interior decorator put something here. You can see the uh, neighbors over here as well. I wonder what their place looks like. Nothing much in there. Uh, wait, where did these guys come from? They weren't there last time. That's in the garden. These look like three different shopping carts that they just lined up by the window. We didn't see these earlier. Maybe this is like where they put all the stuff that they loaded in here to make it look good. So maybe this entire house was done by an interior decorator, not just a few things. They loaded everything up and just like tossed it in here for the photo session. Because it looks a little bit too perfect exactly. If you look at these pillows over here, you got all the same style fabric and then there's like these three green pillows and these are kind of small and there's a big one in the middle and then each is flanked by these other pillows. It looks a little too perfect. Okay, so they got a really big TV. Let me go back. Uh, Alright, so the TV is right here. I guess they could see that from over there. It just kind of looked like the TV was in the corner and they were just going to be looking at the side of the TV if they were looking straight ahead. Okay, it looks like it's alright. It has a really big speaker, by the way. Look at this gigantic. This looks like a bass speaker or something. A subwoofer. So I guess they also like music. Because there's no reason for you to have gigantic speakers like that if you're just going to watch the news every once in a while. There's this dangerous contraption again. I don't know why they would put that on there. Or do you suppose they only just loaded it up in here? And they were like, you know what? Let's just leave it on the thing. Because it's cast iron and super heavy. I don't have to break my back lifting it. Let's just leave it on the little doggy, whatever you call it. And then let's just roll it back out once we're done. There's a hatch in the kitchen. Looks like a hatch. Maybe they go swimming every once in a while. Scooby diving under the house. So there's some lizards on the wall here. Instant choice. More cats. They really like cats. Still looking for the guitar. Oh, we got a bathroom. Ugh. One of those novelty toilet lids. Terrible. Also, I don't like the colors. There's like this type of blue. There's this blue. There's that blue. There's the blue of the lid. And the floor is a different color blue as well. How many types of blue do you want in one bathroom? Also, the way they painted it, it looks really ugly. And I don't think they put any tape on anything because this lamp here has got some paint on the edge. So they weren't very careful with that either. We see a horse calendar there, so maybe they are horse people after all, even though we see mostly like cat stuff. And then there's, what is that? A box next to the toilet. I'm not really sure what's happening here. And it looks like this sink has a, a thing you can pull open. So while you're sitting over here, you can just pull open this air drawer and grab stuff, I guess. I don't know. Toilet paper's right here, though. Looks like they got one of those cheesy uh, booklets that you can put in the bathroom. I don't think this is something that is like a thing uh, across the border. But in the Netherlands, particularly, uh, well, years ago, not so much anymore now, unless you're looking in somebody's uh, house who likes that type of thing. It would be fairly common to find a joke book in the bathroom to give you something to read while you were doing your business. Also, that's why the calendar's there, so you can look at the calendar, see whose birthday it is while you're in your bathroom to doing your business. And the idea behind that is you're going to go to the bathroom at least once a day. So you're going to see the calendar at least once a day, so you won't forget whose birthday is coming up and that sort of thing. That's the idea. So now we got this... This is actually a really cute dresser. It's just in the wrong house. That's all it is. But I do like all the little different color things. Of course, it looks good from this distance. But if this paint job and this floor is any indication, I think this is something they did themselves. And it's probably going to look terrible from up close. That's why they uh, took a shot from back here. I wonder if this is from on the toilet doll. Or is this even in the bathroom? I don't know where this is. Strange. Strange combination shots. Okay, here's another. Oh, I guess that was a dryer in the hallway. Because this 
looks like the washer right here. Random thing stuck behind right here. That looks dirty and suspicious. This is also not great. This looks like a bit of water damage right here. It's kind of like bubble up. That's not good. And then you got this paint that's chipping on the side of the really roughly, probably homemade sink. Looks like they put that together themselves. I mean, I uh, admire DIY skills, but not when it's this ugly. Okay, well, I couldn't make a sink at all, but uh, I wouldn't make it look like this even if I could. So there's a lot of products here that they had to put somewhere. So they put them all in this one rack. And this here thing is probably a plastic or glass sheet and it doesn't look like it's been cleaned very well. I can see the calcium deposits even from back here. I wonder if we're gonna get a better shot at the top. I guess not because currently we're in the next room. So this is somebody's bedroom who is directly connected to the bathroom. So we're, we were here and now we're here. That's a quick jump. This looks like a kid's room with all the hard stuff and this little bear hanging by a uh, bed. This randomly uh, attached cable over here looks very safe. Is that a hatch in the ceiling or what's happening? Oh, this is a pipeline that just goes across the ceiling because why not? Oh, it's uh, the electricity. Very great. This is also a nice look. We got a nice line here and then there's like another thing there and another one there for the door and there appears to be a hole here so oh this also looks great they didn't really do anything extra other than load stuff into the house and i'm also not really convinced that moss green uh, shaggy carpet was the best idea for this place apparently they thought it was very strange what is this this looks like it's supposed to be something cool. Looks like a digger of some sort. You know, like this is a dig bucket and they got the arm and that goes down here. It just has colors that I don't recognize, so I don't know what that's supposed to be. And then there's this, whatever that is on the wall. No idea. This looks like a very small room. Oh, and now we're outside. Um, pick one of the garages you think would be best. I think I'll take this one. This one looks like the best maintained. This one's kind of low. So. Oh, this is from the other side of the water. This side looks worse. Oh my god, look at this. And these guys as well. Now I know it because it's on the water, it's difficult to maintain the paint job, but you gotta try at least. This looks like it hasn't been maintained in ages. That looks really bad. Also, we didn't see this, did we? Maybe we'll get a picture of that soon. Oh no, we just get like a uh, overview. So it's just one layer, and then you get the living room here. Uh, looks like this is indeed the entrance. That was the dining room. Did we see the dining room at all? We saw like the kitchen. Basically what we saw was kitchen, living room, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, or bathroom. Toilet, bathroom, like that, and then the bedroom. And that's it. They skipped this thing. Oh no, we did see that actually. Sorry, I forgot. That was the one with the, the big table with the random picture on it. Okay, we did see that. But just one bedroom. That's kind of surprising. So one person lives here, basically. That's even weirder. I thought like a whole family could live in there. Strange. That's it. And you get to pay 265,000 euros. And that is way too much. I wouldn't even pay 150,000 for that thing. It looks like it needs a lot of work. Do, 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 do. Oh, not right there. That's good. So you have to pay 265,000 euros for this. And it looks like it hasn't been maintained in well over 20 years. So you would have to spend even more money to try and bring everything back up to code. Also, this garden is a, a huge wilderness, so you need to spend a lot of time and an effort on that as well. 
case I don't know about you, but I would never buy this. Anyway, it is interesting to take a look at it. Hope you enjoyed that. I would be very curious to see what the rooftop looks like, because it's a flat roof. So there's a good chance there's even more damage and uh, stuff you don't want to see up there. Anyway, like I said, hope you enjoyed that. And maybe we'll do this again sometime. Either way, thanks for watching. Have a nice weekend. Make sure to stay healthy and stay safe. And bye-bye for now.